Sup, family? It's your boy Nate, aka Tabasco Sweet, and you're watching Cheap Thrills. Nathaniel, what's going on in there? Mom, you already know what it is. So a lot of you have been sliding into my DMs and asking me, hey Tabasco, how do I make your signature white glasses? Today I'm gonna show you how to bless yourself with your very own pair. So that way, when you go back to school, your clout level will be so high, the haters won't be able to touch you. You're gonna be on some god tier shit, family. Now these glasses have made cameos on all the realest real ones. I'm talking Lil Yachty, Playboy Cardi, Denzel Curry, and my boy Kurt Cobain. R.I.P. Kurt Cobain. The Acne Studios Mustang Shades are currently the most popular clout goggles on the market. These bad boys will run you about 320 bucks, my dude. So what do you say, my guy? Let's get that primo clout vision without having to shell out major ducats. So here's what you're gonna need. Plain white paper, white foam core, a green plastic soda bottle, tiny hinges, X-Acto knife, a permanent marker, a hot glue gun, and some rubber cement. All right, it's Liddy. Now our first step is gonna be to draw out the shape of our iconic circular lenses. Pro tip, you can use a soda can to get the perfect shape and size. Now that we've got our lenses drawn out, it's time to lock in the shape of our frame. Now it's time to draw the sides. Very clean. Now that we've got all our stencils drawn out, it's time to cut them out with an X-Acto. But be careful. Don't want anybody out there getting shanked. Now that we got all our shapes cut out, I'm gonna use a pencil to trace them onto our foam board. Now it's time to carefully cut out the pieces to our frames. Proceed with caution. Precision is everything. Jaggedy edges, dead giveaway. Now the lenses to these bad boys are traditionally black, but I'm mixing it up, going straight money vision on my cloud goggles. And that's where this green soda bottle comes into play. And I'm using my X-Acto knife to carefully cut a strip from the middle of the bottle. And then you cut a straight line through the middle so that it lays flat. Make sure you throw your extra scraps in the blue bin. Real G's recycle. Global warming, not a drill. I'm gonna use my cutout from earlier and my permanent marker to trace out the lenses. Make sure that the lenses are slightly bigger than the holes. Tight. Now it's time to move on and cut them out. Now the next step is to go over your entire frame with the rubber cement. Now I know what you're thinking. But don't sniff too much, family. You gotta stay alert, cause this shit dries very quickly. Now I'm placing my lens. Now I do the other side. These are some very clean optics. Now we lock in our lenses with our stencil from earlier to give it a nice clean finish. Make sure you don't get any of the rubber cement on the part that you see out of. Never let anything get in the way of your vision, family. Whew. Very clean. And I'm gonna pull up with my Draco and hit the sides with some glue to attach our hinges. Make sure they open the right way. Don't get caught with hot glue strings. That's a dead giveaway. Now we'll do the same to the other side. Now for our final step, attaching our sides to the hinges. Put a little glue on the other side of your hinge and lock and load, baby. Whoa. Our clout levels are skyrocketing. So a lot of my Cheap Thrills fam have been DMing me and asking me for some advice on how to deal with the haters. It's pretty simple. Haters are just indicators that you're on some next level shit and people are starting to notice. So take it as a compliment and stay shining on them, Cheap Thrills fam. All right, family, you know what time it is. Who wore it better, y'all? Playboy Cardi, AKA Boy Cardi, or your boy, the home team champion, Tabasco Sweet. This one's easy, family. You know I don't need to spend 300 bucks to look 100. Wait, I almost forgot to tell you. I made a prototype of the invention. Let's take it for a spin, shall we? Are you seeing this right now? I think I'll call it the number one spinner. Wait, before I go, let's peep this new track I worked on with the homie Little Plug, AKA Socket. He goes full dummy on my beat.
Hey, ha, yeah. Hey, it's your boy. Start to the plug. Back to the sweet man. Let's get it. Hey, you know what it is. You know, you know what it is. Hey, you know what it is. You know, you know what it is. Hey, are you hearing this right now? You know, you know what it is. Hey, you know what it is. Damn, your heat wave. Hey, you know what it is when I pull up to the scene. You know what it is. I got the easiest on my feet. You know what it is. That's a pain like me. If you don't know my boy, to my best go sweet. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Hey, if you don't know my boy, the best go sweet. Yeah, then boy, take a seat. Yeah, he made the beats, so we cooking in the kitchen. I'm waiting for another video, I think I'm missing. A guy started with a knife, about to get stitches. I'm chilling in my clock, all the dinosaurs so you're missing. Man, I said it this, but why you still flinching? You don't like me, then I'm tired to be switching. We the best out here. TBSTP just thought I would mention. Woo! You know what it is, you know, you know what it is, ay. You know what it is, you know, you know what it is, ay. Until next time, stay up, Cheap Thrills fam. Stay wavy, and don't ever change. What's up, family? Y'all are still here? That video was very clean. Now, go ahead and get some shit off your chest in those comments. Click here to subscribe, click here to watch more, and tune in every Tuesday for some more Fuego videos. Unless you're sleeping on it. <laughs>